This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by GoToMeeting. iTunes 11, iOS 6, and iPhone 5 with a 4 inch display, Windows Phone 8 with a 41 megapixel camera, and Google's given Motorola the boot already. So many rumors, there's only one thing we could possibly do, and that's to round them up! Woohoo! It's Techno Buffalo's Rumor Roundup. What's going on everybody? Happy Friday the 13th. Welcome to the Roundup where we're not going to talk about the insane one billion dollar acquisition of Instagram by Facebook because that's actual news, not pure speculation. We only deal in pure speculation here in the Roundup. So we won't touch that billion dollar AOL patent deal either. Instead, we'll get right to the rumors, starting off with a company called Apple and a lot of different numbers flying around. So stay with me if you can. Our own Killian Bell reported earlier this week on a report coming from 9 to 5 Mac that iTunes 11 is being tested with support for iOS 6 in preparation for a possible iPhone 5 with a 4 inch screen. Huh? Well it goes a little bit like this. The report said that iTunes 11 is in testing now. The new version of it will feature lots of under the hood improvements including support for iOS 6. Seeing as Apple has already refreshed the iPad for this year, we're looking at probably another fall release for the next iPhone, whether that's going to be called iPhone 5 or maybe just iPhone, staying in line with how the new iPad is just called iPad. And here's the other part with another number thrown in there. The number is 4. An astute reader over on the Verge forums posted an extensive post using lots of math and Pythagoras' theorem explaining how an iPhone could go up to 4 inches in screen size, actually 3.99 inches, without causing a lot of all messed up radical redesign work for app developers and uh, the iOS itself. There's a lot of stuff in there about pixel density and triangulation, whatever, but basically it says that you could just stretch the phone the uh, long way, keep it the same width the short way, and not really have to change the actual physical size of the device. Just cut down on the bezel, and there you go, four inch iPhone, Boom, and Apple can do their whole, we made it bigger without making it bigger magic thing, retina display, yada, yada, yada. Also, apparently Apple is putting its acquisition of Chomp, the app discovery engine, they acquired them a while back, they're putting that to good use towards a major overhaul of the App Store UI and perhaps some other stuff as well. So iTunes may not get a big visual overhaul, but the App Store might. Whoa, lots of numbers, lots of Apple rumors. I think we're gonna take a break now. Come back, talk about Nokia's next Windows phone, even though the 900 just launched, and why Motorola might be getting the boot from Google already. But first, a word from our sponsor. With colleagues working from home and traveling all the time for business, getting everybody together for a meeting can be a near impossible task. But I have the solution. Go to meeting with HD Faces. Now your team can meet face-to-face -face online no matter where they are. It's easy and it literally just takes seconds. GoToMeeting by Citrix allows you to collaborate on files and plans online. And with HD Faces, you only need a webcam to turn your online meeting into a high definition video conference. You can even participate on the go using the built-in camera on your iPad. Just download the free GoToMeeting app to join. I personally love GoToMeeting because I both work from a home office and travel a lot and work for a company that's scattered literally all over the world. So a solution like GoToMeeting where we can get together, we can work on plans, we can work on files, and I can see my colleague's shiny face, faces, and then my shiny head is absolutely perfect. Start hosting your own face-to-face -face online meetings today with GoToMeeting. Techno Buffalo viewers can try it free for 30 days with this special offer. Just visit gotomeeting.com, click on the try it free button, and use the promo code techno. Again, use the promo code techno, T-E-C-H-N-O, to get your free 30-day trial of GoToMeeting. All right, Nokia's Lumia 900 has barely hit AT&T shelves and also barely uh, just been graced with a $100 rebate because of data problems, but that's another story. It's barely just hit uh, AT&T shelves and already we've got rumors of a bigger, badder Windows phone headed to Verizon, perhaps later this year. Now, if you follow Nokia, you know that they just introduced PureView, their new image sensing technology with a giant camera sensor, the biggest camera sensor I believe ever built into a phone, only available on a Symbian device in the European market. Of course, we know this technology is going to come to the U.S. and it's going to come to the U.S. in the form of a Windows Phone device because Nokia and Microsoft are sitting in a tree, K-I-S-S, -S, or no, 
counting their M-O-N-E-Y. I don't know, anyway, they're sitting in a tree working together. Now, the rumors are saying that Nokia is already prepping a pure view Windows Phone device for launch on Verizon later this year. The device is said to run the next generation of Windows Phone, Windows Phone 8, codenamed Apollo. Apollo will feature support for all kinds of modern smartphone goodies like dual core processors, higher resolution displays, all the stuff that spec sheet fanboys love, 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 and their Android devices in particular, but can't get on Windows Phone because right now it's basically one hardware uh, feature set fits all for Windows Phone devices. Tango 7.5 is going to take those shackles off for the low end, and Apollo Windows Phone 8 is going to take those shackles off for the high end. But wait, there's more. There's also a rumor of a Nokia Lumia Windows Phone device headed to Sprint with a slide-out QWERTY keyboard. Speaking of new cell phones and carriers and OEMs and all that kind of stuff, if you recall, Google recently spent an arm and a leg to acquire Motorola. They said they were going to firewall the handset division off from the rest of Google to avoid you know, conflicts of interest with Android and other Android OEMs and playing favorites with Motorola, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, one strategy for doing that would be to turn around and resell Motorola's handset division like Google's aiming to do with their set-top box division. And according to a report on the Wall Street Journal earlier this week, Google's already in talks to do just that by selling Motorola's handset division to Huawei. Sounds crazy, but it could happen. Considering that Google has already ousted Motorola CEO Sanjay Jha from his position, replacing him with an ad executive, this actually might make sense. Getting rid of a mobile tech guy and instead installing an ad exec to run a mobile phone hardware maker doesn't make a lot of sense. Putting in an ad exec to basically kind of keep things running while he looks to sell the company to another hardware maker kind of makes more sense. And that would all underscore the idea that Google was really in this whole Motorola acquisition for the patents and the patents only all along. Stay tuned. We'll follow the drama and bring it to you as it unfolds. All right, kids, that'll do it for the roundup this week. Again, happy Friday the 13th. Thanks to Rev3 for having us. Thanks to you for watching us. Much more on these stories and all kinds of other stuff over on technobuffalo.com. Till next time, my name is Noah. You can catch us three times a week on Rev3, Ask the Buffalo, What's the Apps, Rumor Roundup. So there's plenty to keep you entertained until next week. Till then, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.